everybody and welcome to my next video supporting parents in learning about early reading development. So within my last couple of videos I have talked to you about the early reading skills that we cover in Read Write Inc. Um, starting with pre-reading before children learn letter sounds um, where they learn how to say pure sounds correctly using their voices. We then looked further into this by learning about how children develop their oral blending skills and today in this video I am going to show you how we use letters to actually segment for spelling um, when your children start to be able to build words. So in Read Write Inc the first seven sounds that we teach are here. We teach the sounds in this order on purpose because we find that children are able to apply their early reading skills into their writing and into their word building much sooner if we do follow this order. So for example, I'm going to show you how we say the sounds correctly again using my pure sounds and then I will give you some examples of how we can use these with early reading and um, segmenting for writing skills. So this is how we say the sounds. We've got m, mm, a, s, d, t, i, m. They are the first seven letters that we will learn. From day one, we learn the sound m, mm, and then the next sound that we would learn is a. Ah. And you can see that by doing it in this order, by day two, the children may be able to be introduced to a word, to the word am. And then from day three, where we learn the sound s, they can be introduced to the word sam. So there is a method to the structure of the read write scheme and children do learn sounds in a specific order on purpose just so that they've got that early exposure and opportunity to develop to develop their word building skills which will help with early writing and the to develop their blending skills further now what we do in our read writing groups early on we use magnetic whiteboards and tiles and you can see that on purpose i have moved all of the tiles to the bottom of the board now, I did this because in English, when we learn to read and write, we always learn to start at the top left of our page. So, within a lesson, I would make sure that the children have a whiteboard with the sounds that they need for that lesson. And they have room at the top so that they can physically move the letter tiles where they need them to be. And they can start the word building skills at the top left. It just is another step, another thing to support them before they become able writers. Now, this step is important because children learn to read before they learn to write. They need to learn letter recognition and to be able to say the sounds correctly and develop their blending skills before they can write things down. And the reason for that is because it takes a little bit longer for the muscles to develop in their hands. And even if they are able to read a sound, it does not mean that they will be at a point where they can write that sound. So we do find that reading is a skill that develops faster than writing. This is normal. But if you keep reading with your children and we do these kind of activities, they will prepare them for when their muscles are developed in their hands and when they are ready to write. So I'm going to show you how we would use magnetic whiteboards and tiles in phonics to build some words. So as a teacher, I might introduce this word. Now we know that this says s um, Sam. Now, Sam would be a green word. We would say to the children that it is a green word because we can break this word down into sounds and then blend the sounds together and we can clearly hear that it says Sam. 
if we were not able to clearly blend these sounds together, then it would not be a green word. We blend green words easily. If we couldn't blend the word easily, it would be a red word. So for example, I or the or my, they are all a little bit more difficult to read for children. They are words that they need to learn to recognise from memory and from sight early in their reading journeys. Um, and they are red words. But today we're going to focus on green words. So I would introduce these letters and we would practice pushing the sounds together. S, am, sam. And once they know that it is the word Sam, we would then use our Fred fingers. Now, when I say Fred fingers, I just mean holding your fingers up like this. We would ask the children to get three Fred fingers ready. So, like this. And they would pinch the fingertips using their other hand. And they would recognise that there are three sounds within the word Sam. So, for example, they would pinch their first finger and say S. Their second finger and say A. Ah, and their third and say M. Mm, Sam, Sam. The next step would be to look at the letter tiles and to recognise what letter they need first. So, once they are able to recognise that it is S. They would move the letter tile to the top left and start building their word. S, A. They would move A. And finally, M. Mm. Here we go. And you can see that they have built the word Sam. Now, this can be at the start when the children are first introduced to this it can be a little bit tricky so we do let children do this in partners and in pairs so they've got that peer support but then once they become more confident with this skill and more able we will and we do give children their own whiteboards and their own letters to use so this is just an early skill that we use daily in phonics as we learn different sounds and it helps them to develop their blending skills further and like I said it promotes that early ability to recognize the letters that they need for writing. We do this for all of the set one sounds that, is, that means all of the letters of the alphabet here and we teach the children how to build different words. I'll give you an example of another word that we could build using these tiles. So we're going to build the word s -a -d. sad, sad. We would again pinch our fingers, our first finger and say s, and our second finger and say a, ah, and our third and say d. And we would ask the children, what does the word sad start with? And once they become more able, they would recognise that it starts with s. Move it to the top. Then next we hear a. And finally, d. S, a, d. Sad. Okay. Now I hope you find this useful. This is something that you could do at home. If you've not got letter tiles, it's okay. You could just ask the children to... Fat point to the sounds on a mat. We always send these mats out home with our children when they learn read writing. So they could even just find the sounds like this. S, A, D. You could help them to copy them. If you wanted, you could just write some of these sounds down on pieces of paper and they could physically move the pieces of paper around and put them in order. That's fine. Um, but yes, I hope you found this video useful and that it just gives you a little bit more understanding of how we support early reading here at school. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.